Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome to my channel about crypto. In today's video, I want to show you how to move your NFTs from your regular MetaMask account to an account protected by a Ledger hardware wallet, which makes them, of course, much more secure. If you like this content, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the community tab. Okay, so a Ledger is a hardware wallet, one of many that are available on the market. You may be already familiar with it. If not, you can go to ledger.com, check out the website, you can order it from there. If you don't have your ledger yet and you're thinking about buying one, please make sure that you always buy it just from the manufacturer's website. Don't buy it on Amazon, eBay or from any other resellers. You want to buy it from the website because it's protecting your, your, your most valuable assets. So you want to make sure that it's definitely a genuine device that wasn't tampered with. So I'm assuming that you have a MetaMask, you have an account on OpenSea, so you have some NFTs there and you have your ledger wallet and you want to transfer those NFTs to that wallet. So what you need to do is when you go to your MetaMask, in this case, I have my Dodge Pound here. It's relatively valuable NFT. So of course I want it to be safe. So if I want to move it from my normal OpenSea account, my normal MetaMask account to my Ledger protected account, I click on this icon here, transfer. And what it does, it opens MetaMask, so I have to sign in. And now in this box here, I have to enter my wallet address, but that's the address that NFT is going to. So of course you have to make sure that this, this is 100% correct, because once you send it to that address, you cannot revert the transaction. So if you make any mistake and that NFT goes somewhere else rather than your hardware wallet, well, it's gone forever. So I go to my MetaMask and under accounts, I go to my Ledger account copy that address to the clipboard, go back here and simply paste the address. As you can see, you get this pop-up here that items sent to the wrong address cannot be recovered. So of course it makes sense to double and triple check it, but I know that in this case, the address is correct. Okay, so what I do now is just click transfer. It opens my MetaMask. There is of course gas fee. At the moment, gas is not too bad. So I just click confirm. And I'm waiting for a blockchain confirmation. Okay, so now I can see that the NFT was successfully transferred. I can of course see the transaction. I'll open it in a separate window and I can view the item. It's now owned by a different owner rather than my previous account because it went to a different account. However, if I now go to my MetaMask and switch to my Ledger account, it doesn't appear here and it won't do it automatically. So what I need to do is I need to go to import tokens, custom token, and I need to enter the address of, of that particular NFT. So I go to my NFT details and I copy contract address here from OpenSea. Well, it's open it in Etherscan, I copy it here. I go back to the MetaMask, paste this address here, it picked up doggy token symbol, which is correct. And this is the very important bit, token decimal. You always input this when it comes to NFTs as zero and then simply just add a custom token. And as you can see, straight away it picked up that I have one doggy, one dodge bound. So I import tokens, I go to my MetaMask and you can now see that under my Ledger One account, I have one Dodge Pound. So the transfer was successful. It is in my MetaMask. If I had more than one Dodge Pound, it would just simply change the number here. I cannot see in MetaMask which Dodge Pound this is specifically. So it would just show me that I have, if I have more than one, I would just see that, well, let's say I have two, but they wouldn't be listed as individual entities on um, in MetaMask. So I would still have to go back to OpenSea connect with my MetaMask account, sorry, with my MetaMask Ledger protected account. And then I can see which specific Dodge Pound I'm, I currently have in this wallet. So if I, I want to sell one, I still have to use OpenSea to, of course, to interact with it. So yeah, that's perfectly normal. And it's a bit weird because of course, the main idea behind NFTs is that each individual NFT is, is exactly that. It's a completely individual, unique item. 
unlike all other tokens, well, normal tokens. But that's just how MetaMask works. You still need OpenSea to sort of interact with it. But even when you log into OpenSea, you still know that this Dodge Pound is now protected with, with your ledger because no one can just simply sell it. Because the moment I try to sell it, the moment I try to transfer it out of my wallet, I have to connect my ledger and I have to enter my PIN. And of course, if someone doesn't have access to my ledger and my PIN, they cannot do anything with it. You can deposit anything you want into your ledger protected account and you don't have to authorize it because of course the funds are just coming in or NFTs are coming in or whatever it is. But the moment you want to take it out, that's when you need to authorize transaction. So you know that now this NFT is, is secured. One thing you need to be aware of is there are two types of NFT token standards. There is ERC721, which is by far the most popular one. But currently more and more NFTs are created using the different standard ERC1155. If it's ERC1155, MetaMask does not fully support it. You can still deposit that NFT in the MetaMask account. Sorry. And yeah, you can still deposit it in a MetaMask ledger protected account, but it may not be visible. You still need OpenSea to actually see it, but you can transfer it to, to MetaMask and you can secure it with ledger. It's just you have this additional step. It won't even show in the, in the MetaMask. It will basically show you that there is a token there, but it won't be able to pull the number of those tokens. So if I go to MetaMask, it would say here, that there is a token, sorry, that there is a token of this type, but the quantity would be unknown and there would be an error uh, button here that essentially it knows there is something there, but it doesn't know how, how many of those tokens are in this, in this account. But then when you connect to opens, you can, you can see them. So you can still do it. You can still protect it this way and you can still transfer them in and out. Uh, but yeah, just, just be aware that at the moment, those ERC-1155 tokens are not fully supported by MetaMask. So that's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. As you can see, it is pretty straightforward. The main thing is always double and triple check the address you're sending or transferring your NFT to, because once it's done, you cannot revert that transaction. But yeah, that's essentially the only tricky bit. Other than that, it's all re really straightforward. And it's a really great way of securing your more valuable NFTs. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If something is not perfectly clear, please let me know in the comment section and I'll try to help you. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.